The Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry, GCCI, was created in the year 1889 and over time has helped shape the business community which now exists. Once more, the Chamber is on a journey to diversify its leadership, paving the way for women to become even more visible. As it relates to the GCCI and the role of women, I really believe that there is, it is timely for a focus to be on women and women in development, particularly women in the private sector. So, you know, as a member of the GCCI, it's something that I would like to see happen over, over time. I think that baby steps, but we should still be taking those steps. So I feel that women need to be highlighted more in the business community because, you know, it is a male dominated industry. The business community in Guyana in general is male dominated, but as a woman, I wanted to show that I can make a lasting impression. I think that women have faced tremendous obstacles when it comes to business, not only here in Guyana, but around the world. And I think the only way that we can make this lasting impression is by getting involved and believing in yourself and believing in your ideas. I feel really great being a part of the change, being a part of the movement, as I like to think of it. And I mean, I'm still waiting for the first female president, but who knows, maybe you're looking at her. As a female counselor with the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce, I would definitely encourage women to get more involved and more on board because it gives us an opportunity to voice our opinions and to have it heard. One thing is for sure, these passionate women who are a part of the Chamber's membership can all agree that their presence is just the opening to empowering other women. GCCI saw me as an asset to coming on board with them and being able to share from my knowledge base and experience in not only finance, business administration, and giving counsel to some of the membership. So I believe that was a good platform for me to um, follow through on. From my end, I saw it as a way of giving back. It's important um, as we grow that we are able to give back and help others also to grow in their personal career, in their businesses. And I saw that as a forum that allowed me to do that. It's great to be a part of an organization that continues to look at new ways in which to improve businesses whether it be technology or just to inform about a particular agency and how it can benefit your business, to having a simple cocktail and talking about business over a networking event. For young women out there, it's not a men's world, it's what we can do on our capabilities and we just have to show them that we're equally as good. When women are empowered, their families are better provided for, their kids have access to better education. So. For me that platform is, that was important for me. As you know, Guyana is known for its natural resources and it's one of the countries with the highest forest cover. So we want to make sure that at the Chambers we remain in touch with all the relevant stakeholders that um, we need to be in touch with to ensure that as businesses grow and develop and remain sustainable, we also maintain our environment and natural capital so that the legacy for our children or children children is there. If you're looking to be inspired, if you want to make a change, then the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry is where you belong. Be confident and always surround yourself with a diverse group of hardworking, talented people and that is where change starts.